Hello, welcome to the Apex Networks training for the RMS system. This is part of our online training program developed by Apex Networks to assist you in getting the very most from your software. This short video will show you how to enter information in the Drivers and Technicians section. We recommend you play this video on a separate device from that you are setting your system up on. This will enable you to pause, rewind and keep pace of your progress without having to switch screens. There are three categories that your staff will fall into. The first is system user. This is those people who need to log on to a desktop version of RMS, usually controllers, administration and management staff. The next is driver. Your member of staff will need to be set up as a driver before you can allocate a recovery job to them. The last category is technicians. Your member of staff will again have to be set up as a technician before you can allocate a workshop job to them. You can find the tutorial for setting up system users in the system users tutorial. To set up a new driver profile, simply click on the main menu bar and then click on settings. Then click on the drivers icon found on the top row. This will open your window for managing your drivers. It's possible that there are no staff details entered into this section yet. If you have staff already entered onto the system, their details will be shown here. To add a new member of staff, simply click on the button at the bottom right hand corner of the screen, marked New Driver. This will open up the driver template window. This is in two sections. You have employee details here on the left hand side and driver details on the right hand side. If the member of staff is already in the system, you will see a pop-up like this. The system has detected that this employee already has a profile on the system as they are already a system user. If this is the same employee, click on Select and it will populate their information for you. If you don't see this pop-up, you will need to manually add the details yourself. Next, we enter the driver's buddy name or number. This should be the name your member of staff is known to your controllers as. We will enter here as Greg. If he has a preferred vehicle, you can put that in here. And his driving status is active. Add any notes that you wish to here and a PIN code for their PDA here. It's important that the drivers have their own PIN code so that they don't log on as someone else by accident. If your driver is paid on a commission basis, enter their commission rate here. Click here to exclude this driver from statistics if required. For example, if the driver doesn't normally drive for you, you may not need to include their details in your statistics. Or, if it's a member of staff from another department that should be excluded from the rotor, click here. Click on Save. We have created Gregory Page as a driver, and you can allocate recovery work as you wish. To add a technician, simply click on the button marked Technicians. As you can see, there are no technician details entered into here yet. So, to create a new technician profile, click here in the bottom right hand corner of the screen on New Technician, and this will open the technician profile. This again is in two sections. You have employee details here, status and rates here. You can add the employee details individually, but if we add someone who is already in the system, the system will detect this. Here it shows that Gregory is already set up as a driver and as a system user. Click on this and it will populate their profile with all of their information. If you don't see this pop-up, you will need to manually add the details yourself. Again, we can put in a commission rate here and a PIN code if you are working on workshop PDAs. Click on Save and this will create the profile. Once a member of staff has been entered as either a driver, a technician or a system user, their profile will start to be populated within the HR system. If you have a driver who no longer works for you, you can click here and enter them as status deleted. Here, if you have a driver who still works for you but no longer does any driving jobs, you can archive his details so that a controller doesn't select them for a job by mistake. Here, in base location, if your company runs multiple sites, each of these will be their cost centre. Some of your staff may be allocated to different cost centres to balance the profit and loss of each business. Ensure that if your company does run separate base locations, that your member of staff is always allocated to the correct base location.